Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right now let's talk about sample rate bit depth and buffer size in every DAW, you'll need to set the sample rate and bit depth and occasionally you'll need to adjust the buffer size well what are they what do they affect and what do we need to set them to let's start with what they are sample rate the easiest way to explain and understand sample rate is by comparing it to the resolution of a video. If you were to watch a video in 720, and then immediately turn around and watch that video in 4K, you'd easily be able to tell that the 4K video had much more clarity and sharpness in the image over the 720 video. Now, while this is an easy way to understand sample rate, the difference isn't as drastic as it would be with video resolution. The most common sample rates you'll find right now are 44.1 and 48,000. 99% of people can't even hear the difference between those two, but the industry standard as of right now is 48,000. Basically, recording at 44.1 will result in a smaller file size, but technically not be as high of a resolution as 48,000 hertz. Although, like I said, 99% of people can't even hear the difference between them, even though 44.1 is technically a lower resolution. Personally, I always record everything in 48,000, but that's totally up to you. I will say, however, if you're a voice actor and you want it to be a career and not just a fun hobby, make sure you record everything in 48,000 hertz unless otherwise stated by the client. Because like I said earlier, 48,000 hertz is the industry standard and 99.9% .9 of voiceover clients expect their files to be delivered in 48,000. But if you're just a content creator like a YouTuber or podcaster, then it's totally up to you. Now, bit depth. The easiest way to explain bit depth is also by using photo or video as an example. A really high-end camera with a great sensor can capture really bright brights in an image as well as really dark darks in an image, whereas a low-end camera with a low-end sensor can't. The brights of an image will be blown out, lost, and unrecoverable, and the darks in an image will end up really noisy. This is a lot like bit depth for audio, but rather than bit depth being brights and darks in an image, bit depth is really loud noises and really quiet noises. 24-bit is the industry standard, and it's what I record 99.9% .9 of my audio in, but 16-bit is also used. Now, again, going down to 16-bit will give you a lower file size, so this could be desirable if that's what you're looking to achieve. All right, now, buffer size. What is it? Buffer size is the amount of time allowed for your computer to process the audio of your sound card or audio interface. This applies when experiencing latency, which is a delay in processing audio in real time. So when should you change it? You would want to change your buffer size if you're experiencing latency. Basically, if you're recording live voiceover and you're hearing what you're saying into the mic milliseconds or even seconds later in your headphones, you'd want to adjust this. Lowering your buffer size to something like 128 or 64 will decrease the latency you're hearing between your voice and headphones, though it will be harder on your computer depending on your computer's processing power. While increasing the buffer size to something like 256 or above will increase the latency, but it will be easier on your computer. 